Hi guys, welcome back to More Hauls with me, Alana. So this week I'm going to be showing you how to do shellac nails at home. Um, got shellac nails at the moment. Um, what shellac nails are, are it's like a cross between uh, like a gel, uh, gel nails and kind of like nail polish. It lasts for two weeks and what it does is it gives you that kind of like just walked out of the nail bar kind of look. Um, they're super, super shiny and they don't have any chips and no smudges and yeah, they just look really, really cool. I'm no beauty expert, I'm no nail expert, I haven't taken any courses or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to show you how I do it at home, um, so yeah, stay tuned. So taking a cuticle stick, I'm just going to push back the nail bed just so we've got a nice surface to work on so we can apply all the nail varnish to the cuticle. So taking a just a standard nail file, just file the nails into the desired shape. With a lint-free pad, just apply some nail polish remover and wipe the nails down just to remove any oil or dirt on the nails. Apply a thin coat of the shellac UV base coat to one of the hands. and cure it for 10 seconds under the UV lamp and then just repeat on the second hand. Onto the shellac colour polish, I'm going for the C&D shellac colour tinted love. Now you want to be applying a very thin coat of this polish and don't bring the colour all the way to the cuticle. Um, this will make sense in a minute. Just apply it about two millimetres away from the bed of the nail and then put it into the UV lamp again for two minutes. Most of these UV lamps have a two minute timer on it, so it makes it really easy. Let the nails cure in the lamp and then just repeat the exact same thing on the second hand. So the polish will still be sticky, so don't be tempted to touch it. What you need to do now is apply a second coat of the shellac colour polish to one hand and then Cure it for two minutes under the UV lamp again and then just repeat it again on your second hand. Apply the shellac UV top coat to one of the hands. When you apply the top coat, bring it all the way to the nail bed. This will just lock in that colour and prevent it from coming off. And then cure it again for two minutes in the UV lamp and then just repeat again on the second hand. Your nails will still feel sticky. The best way to remove this kind of sticky tacky film that's left on the nails is by taking a lint-free pad and soaking it in a product like Disperse. Once you've wiped away all of the stickiness, your nails are good to go. You can touch them, um, they won't leave any marks on them, they're completely dry and um, yeah, you can go about your normal day with them. So I hope that helped you um, in getting your shellac nails perfect. Um, in regards to like removing your shellac, um, yeah, it does last two weeks, but if you don't want to remove it before, or if they are slightly grown out, um, you can remove it by using 100% acetone or by using shellac remover wraps. Um, all of the uh, nail polishes and the uh, shellac UV machine and everything that I use today, I will put in the description box below so you can see how much everything is and I'll put all the links there as well so you know where to get everything from and good luck. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week.